Well, today we're gonna pull out nine kilo Romeo. We've got a planned trip here. It's a clear good day out in Perry. Papa X-ray Echo. And we're gonna fly out to Hilton Head, South Carolina. Uh, that one's Hotel X-ray Delta. And uh, should be a little over an hour getting there. We've got about a, uh, what is it? Seven knot tail winds, so it'll be good. Hopefully we get a wind coming back, but uh, we'll see what happens after lunch. All right, so we're working on our pre-flight here. Checking all of our hinges, our cables, our lights. Make sure we don't have anything sticking out. Check our pitot tube, make sure nothing's clogged. And of course we gotta check our fuel. I forgot the strainer out of there, but I'll have to go get it. Yeah, we got enough fuel for today. We'll fill up when we're down at Hilton Head. Hilton Head actually, um, they do have a $40 ramp fee, um, but they will waive that with uh, getting at least 10 gallons of fuel. And uh, they actually told me today that they give 50 cents off per gallon if you uh, go fill it with them over the weekend. So have uh, about half a tank of fuel. It's more than enough to get us to uh, Hilton Head with some left over. And we'll get about 10 gallons over there so that way they'll waive that fee and then we can come back because Perry here, their fuel, 470 a gallon. A lot better than the 727 at Hilton Head. But I'll pay 10 gallons for that to uh, get the fee waived. We got everything in there. One sump because both fuel tanks merge together on this experimental plane, which means you gotta get really, really low. And of course we're checking for water, see if there's any dirt deposits we don't have any water so that's always great because we don't want our engine to fail clear prop car here nice little Altima from uh, Hilton Head crew car and uh, we're off on our way to go to Hudson's to try out some great seafood on the beach or on the dock good afternoon Hi. Uh, two yeah right now you're looking at about 15 20 minutes 15 20 minutes out here okay apparently we got a little bit of an outside wait here they are busy it's 12 o'clock um, inside is open but the view outside is great so we don't mind waiting uh, and they go and say that they're this busy and as it gets warmer it gets busier and busier but uh, I look forward to check out the menu see what they got and can't wait to see the table and the view from the table and check out the food we'll do the oyster Rockefeller uh, for an appetizer any other appetizers? No, just that one. And then we'll split the uh, Neptune platter. Check everything out there. Uh, I'm actually good with having everything fried, but have the uh, fish blackened. You good with that? Yeah. Yes, I'm fine. Okay. Everything fried, uh, the fish blackened. Now with Char grilled oysters? It's different. Yeah, so that's, those are yeah. those down here, and those are, those are like the one thing that sell out every night in the summer. Um, I mean, if they're able to change that out, that's fine. Hey, you know, like I said, we're here for the first time checking it out. Might as well enjoy it. Try a little bit of everything. If you don't mind being on a little YouTube channel, then yeah, we'll put you in there. And then French fries, red rice, potato salad, that one. Fries? Yeah, it's easier. 
Another extra plate on there so y'all can switch her around. Perfect. Appreciate and, it. Uh, yeah, take these out of the way. Yeah. All right. Yeah, we just flew here from Middle Georgia. Where are y'all coming from? Uh, Middle Georgia, Perry, Warner Robins. Okay. It's like a five and a half hour drive. We did it in an hour in the plane. Just, oh, really? Yeah. That's a bit excessive. Uh, what? Well, uh, it's a little fast. I mean, yeah. we're doing about 160, 180 the whole way. Uh, are y'all here for like vacation or just work? Nope. Just came just to eat here. Oh, really? Picked a good spot. How'd y'all hear about us? All right. Well, look, I mean, I went and found this place just because it's a local seafood place near the airport. I, and uh, the Google reviews, everybody said it was great. The pictures were good. And here it is. Uh, we're being told that it's on Netflix and Bon Appetit. Let's see what all the fuss is about. All right. Mr. Rockefeller here. Half a dozen, okay. Not too bad, shabby. Oh, oh they took the menus. I was going to read what was on it. Some Parmesan crust, fennel. Uh, everybody has their preference. I'm not a big lemon fan. But, uh... Looks all good. Let's try it out. Good flavor. Taste of cheese, the spinach, I think. Good stuff. I like it. And now the great thing, they say to throw it over the water. <laughs> Neptune platter, all right. Fries. Fried flounder. Fried flounder. Got a little bit of everything. All right, looks good. Uh, you need tartar sauce, ketchup. You got ketchup. You need cocktail jar. Uh, sure. Both, please. Yeah. 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 We'll be right back. Thank you. Wow, this is a, a lot of food. Even aside from the fish, there. Uh, I mean, looks good. This is a. They call it a seven-day-old uh, coleslaw. So I'm anxious to see about that. Our fried shrimp. And they go and say the the shrimp they catch local out here with their boats. Uh, they wanted to give us some fried uh, flounder out here to try. They say it's great. We got our blackened cod. Looks great. Um, we got our oysters. I forget what he said those are. Hush pup. More hush puppies. And we got some big old bowl of hush puppies. But uh, it looks. Oh, and don't forget the scallops over here. I forgot about those. They're a little in our uh, devil crab. So it looks great. Thanks to get into and. Uh, We'll let you know how it is afterwards. All right, so uh, we just got done here at Hudson's, and I mean, I can tell you it was great food. Uh, we had that platter. Uh, it was great. All the food was great. Um, the crab, you, you wouldn't believe how much crab meat is in there. They say they actually only put uh, one saltine cracker for each one, and it's great. Uh, the fried flounder was recommended to us, and we tried some of that, and it, it was actually really, really good. Um, thick, crispy, and juicy. Uh, so, but I mean, everything out here, the the weather outside is actually getting a little bit chillier now. Um, it is February, but uh, outside environment is great. Inside, it's nice and warm, uh, cozy, general conversation, um, quiet. And uh, I mean, it's a great place. Uh, they had a little pilot's house, their little bar area, ironic. And uh, their parking lot here is a little on the small side with how big they are. Uh, but uh, they do have actually posted that um, there's leftover uh, away from it. Uh, we actually scored really great. I call it Rockstar Parking. Uh, we actually get right next to the uh, little patio area there, so we're able to walk right on in. Um, I mean, all I can say is great service, great food. Um, the tree is very nice. Um, the food was actually came out to us really quick. I mean, they're busy. We had to wait 15 minutes to get seated outside, but. It was great food. I can't complain. I'd love to come back again. Um, looking for us to get back. We got about a six knot headwind. So it'll take us a little over an hour to get back, um, back to Perry. So, you know, all I can say is it's gonna be a great flight. A little overcast, but it's still good. And um, look forward to our next adventure with you. Thanks. You guys say it's a great little car that uh, is crew car from uh, Signature over at Hilton Head. Nice little clean Altima. Works great.
All right, now comes the fun job of rolling this caster wheel plane into the hangar to put it up after this fun flight. There, we didn't have any wind or turbulence or anything. We just did, we did have some issues with smoke here in Georgia. They're doing a lot of burns, so that was about the only thing. Wait. 